Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I want to do a short little video about how to make a quick, little, easy uh, trailer tester, trailer light tester. Um, I wanted this because I didn't want to have the uh, the car backed up and plugged into the, the camper all the time um, to test the lights and to get the lights working, etc. I just want to be able to apply 12 volts to basically all the wiring harness and have everything light up. And so that's what I've done here. So what I did was I went on eBay and I found um, just uh, a cheap uh, wiring connector. You can see the image here of uh, the particular 7-pin round trailer plug or 7-blade uh, adapter. Um, and uh, then I went ahead and I basically collect connected all the positive pins in it together. So I would have a one positive and one negative wire uh, coming out of the back of it. Basically I'm powering them all at the same time. So I took a bunch of metal pieces you can see here and I went ahead and uh, bent them over with a pair of needle nose pliers uh, you'll see why I did this uh, in a second when I show you the uh, inside uh, of the uh, the extra connector here and what the plan is is just to plug this into a, a jumper pack basically 12 volt jumper pack and then as needed I can take that jumper pack and uh, power up the camper so that if the car's gone or whatever or if I need to test it you know at, at every spring or something then I can just plug it in and it, it'll literally light up everything it'll it'll power the brakes everything so here's a look at the unit the adapter I got off eBay pretty standard stuff now at this point I, I already had uh, wired it up but I'm just gonna take it apart and, and show you what I did in this case it's just a, a matter of removing a couple of, uh, of, of screws here and you pop it out. Now the blades only go in one way. Um, there's a little notch there, so uh, there's no risk of actually uh, spinning the blades the wrong way and having and having it misaligned. You do need to understand and know the wiring. Now it, there is some common standard wiring, and I did um, standardize it with the with the airstream when I was rewiring the unit. Um, but the older wiring of this can be a little bit different in terms of what is ground, what is left turn signal, what is right turn signal. So on this particular one, number one is ground, and you can see the wires I bent there. I just connected all the positive ones, including the center pin, and uh, then I have a, a, a positive and negative basically going to the other one. So the, the number one is the, uh, the positive and negative, which is the, the black red there. It's just got a stripe of red on it, but it, that is the negative. <clears throat> and all the positive pins, I, I've literally just hooked them all together, daisy chained them, so that 12 volts is going to be going through everything. So when I plug this thing, this thing in, literally everything lights up, including um, the, the plate light, you know, all the turn signals, the brake lights, even the brakes on, on the axles uh, will be energized uh, by this. So it's a great kind of all-in-one way. Now the only change I would make to this is maybe wired up to a bunch of buttons so that you can turn each individually on as needed. So, I, for example, I could uh, flip a switch and just light up the you know left turn signal, or flip three switches and light up the left turn signal and the brakes and, and the uh, and the reverse lights or something like that. So you could pick and choose what you want to light up at a certain amount of time, so that if you're working on them, you're not just draining your battery, lighting up you know all the brakes and everything. Uh, that being said, this is a quick and dirty way to do it, and honestly. Um, for the number of times that I'm going to use this, which is probably uh, once, to be honest, while I'm getting the trailer up and running, uh, maybe I'll use it in springtime just to quickly check that all the lights work so I don't have to back up the, the vehicle to it, etc. Uh, but that being said, um, you, don't, you don't need anything fancy. I've seen on YouTube people do some pretty fancy stuff with you know being, being able to turn on specific lights, etc. and test them. Ultimately, um, and, and uh, to be honest, this does not test that the uh, the wires are in the correct order either. It literally just lights up everything regardless of the order. So it assumes your order is accurate. So if you want to do it properly and, and make sure your wiring harness is accurate and you're, and you're using this from uh, camper to other trailers, etc., it, it would make a lot of sense to uh, make those wires individual and, and, and hook up a, a specific uh, switch to each of them. So that you can test, you know, if, if, you, if you're testing left turn signal, you can sw turn that on. And then you know for sure that your wiring is accurate going through whatever trailer you're testing with. Um, so if you're going through several RVs or something, then, you know, it makes sense to get a, a better one. And honestly, at that point, you can buy uh, camper lighting testers that are all ready to go off eBay with all the individual switches. So at that point, um, you know, if, if you're doing a ton of trailers, um, maybe you just buy a commercial uh, testing unit. Like I say, in my case, I don't need that. Um, so, 
I'm just going to power up everything, and I've already uh, I already got all the uh, uh, cables corrected uh, last year when I had it hooked up to the car. Basically, now I just want to be able to fire, like load up everything, um, so that I can work on the brakes uh, at this point, and not have to worry about having the the, the vehicle hooked up and draining its battery, um, you know, for an hour or two while I while I tinker with the brakes. So I just put a cl couple of clips on here. All I need is. Uh, some ends that I can put the uh, the booster pack uh, clamps onto. So it was perfect. I was doing this at night, so I took it out, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, hook it up to the camper here. So what I got here is my uh, Dewalt uh, booster pack. Um, this is a nice booster pack because it has the inflator on it as well, and it does have an alternator check, which is nice. Um, but it does tend to beep a bit more. Because it's expecting some voltage to come back, it's not really meant to, uh, you know, power your trailer. It's it's meant to uh, charge a battery, so it, it beeps as if there's something wrong with the battery, but that's fine. It does the same. So I, I go ahead and uh, and plug this in again. There's only one way you can do it because there's a notch in it, um, so it's pretty straightforward that way. Not like you're going to screw it up. But of course, just make sure that your your clamps don't uh, cross and, and cause an arc, basically. So then the advantage of this uh, is that I can turn this on and off as needed. So uh, I go ahead and turn it on, and you'll see in the clips here, lights come on. That's the front look. So like I say, really quick and easy way to confirm that everything's working. So you can see the brake lights, the reverse lights. The only thing in this image I don't have hooked up uh, is the plate light. And I know there is power to the uh, the plate light. I don't have plate on it yet, and I didn't put that light on it yet. But all the marker lights work, the brake lights work. I, I, this also doesn't necessarily show uh, the turn signals, uh, although I know that the turn signals are working. So again, just a quick and dirty check maybe that you'd use each spring to confirm everything seems to be lighting up. Um, and then you do your final checks with your vehicle after that, you know, once you get it plugged in. But this saves you having to, having to back up the car. So that's pretty much it. You turn it off and uh, good to go. Test successful. So quick little uh, video on how I quickly made a test, uh, a light tester uh, to be able to power this up. So what I'll be uh, doing is in the next couple of videos, I'll be testing and getting uh, the brake system working on it. And I'll be using this tester um, while I'm doing that so I'm not draining the battery in the car. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps someone. And uh, we'll, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.